he's bright. He, he, has managed, he has managed to rise to the level of leadership uh, in a difficult environment where he was a very young man when his time came. Uh, from my very first interaction with him, he's been very candid uh, with me about the things that are important to him, the priority set, and how the negotiations might proceed. Uh, he's now repeated that he's prepared to denuclearize. It's now time to execute. Uh, and I, I hope that we can achieve that. Well, I hope uh, I, I head to Asia tomorrow midday. I'll be in Bangkok for a couple days. We, we hope that we can have working level discussions starting again very soon so that we can unlock the Rubik's Cube. It's a, it's a real challenge that he is presented with as the leader of North Korea as well. And we hope that, we hope that he can see his way clear so we can get that brighter future that President Trump has talked about. No, it's not enough. And I, there, you still have a okay. uh, high side of 2,000 every day. It's, uh, it's unacceptable. And so they need to do more. We need to do more. Congress needs to change uh, the rules. Uh, we have to create a deterrence, right? It, right? it has to be the case that those who want to come here legally can, and those who want to come by some other mechanism choose not to because they understand that it not, they're not going to find a way. Just so you know, it ain't just Russia. That's bad English. I'll try and correct it. Um, there, are, there are more nations than just Russia who are attempting to undermine Western democracy. That has been true since the founders right. created this great nation. And so we have to be ever vigilant. The president has said pretty clearly, uh, we're going to do all that it takes to make right. sure the Venezuelan people get democracy back. And that's the, that's the mission set. We're closer today right. than we were uh, several months ago. Uh, but in the end, uh, we'll do our part. And the, the nations in the region, we built out a great coalition from... Uh, members of the OAS to what we call the Lima Group to 56 or 58 other countries who are joining us and who understand Maduro is not the duly elected president. Uh, progress every day.